Well, good morning. As you can probably tell from the sunglasses and t-shirt, we have left Bolivia and we are back to much warmer weather. Yesterday, we crossed over to Chile and we are visiting Arica, which is actually a border city that sits between Chile and Peru right at the very top. Um, so yeah, we're right by the beach, warmer weather, and yeah, today we're gonna go out and explore. probably tell the story of how we got to Eureka. <laughs> yeah, there's a pretty good one involved in that. First off, we'll say that that bus ride was one of the most scenic we've ever been on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible coming from La Paz to Eureka in terms of going from a high altitude destination all the way down to sea level. Yes, it was supposed to take about seven or eight hours. Yeah. And it took over 15. <laughs> Almost six hours at immigration. It yes. was probably honestly the biggest gong show of an immigration mm -hmm. i've ever seen they had one immigration officer processing all of the people on the bus so there were literally hundreds of people in line yes and yet they had other immigration officers like sometimes two or three just checking out one car like it just totally didn't make sense and there had just been a strike in bolivia a few days ago so they had just opened the border and there were hundreds of people who wanted to get across because they had been waiting for days yeah but anyways so, that's part of the adventure so we're <gasps> We arrived last night exhausted, but now we've had a good night's sleep and we're excited to explore Eureka. Yes, the city looks great. So one of the coolest things about arriving in a city and having no plans is that you just encounter all these random things and there appears to be a market setting up right now. Yeah, it's still a bit early, about eight in the morning or so, so it's just getting started, but I think it's gonna get busy later on today. like a vintage market where they're selling used clothing although I did see some booths that were selling plants and teddy bears so I guess you can find a little bit of everything here and it looks like we've come across yet another market this one's more like a farmers market so they're selling fresh produce let's go through farmer's market and you walked away with a piece of electronics. Yes. So every country has different electrical power outlets. Uh-huh. But Chile takes the prize for having one of the strangest. Check That's this out. Three prongs. Let's show that from Three the side. skinny little prongs. Yeah. So we were having trouble plugging in this morning, so this was a really timely find. Yes, for under a dollar. At the bus terminal buying tickets for our next destination want to tell us where we're going yes, San Pedro de Atacama and what is funny is we went to a bus company called Atacama and they do not go to Atacama we had to find another one which yeah. bus did we go with uh, I think tour two or something two or something I forget but we tour have tickets yeah, uh, we're tickets. going we're That's going That's the main thing night bus yes So as you can probably tell from the sign, we are having Peruvian food in Chile. But don't worry, we are planning to eat Chilean food while we're here. It's just, you know, Peru is so close and we love ceviche and we found this restaurant. So we had to go in. And Ajida Gallina. fantastic meal that seriously was fantastic I don't give a lot of restaurant meals at A plus but I do for this one 
authentic Peruvian food done at a high level. is a wrap for Arica. We didn't make it to the beach no. or any museums <laughs> or any major landmarks as a matter of fact. But I mean, that's what our stop here was all about. Just resting, buying tickets to San Pedro. Yeah, and we got to see flea markets and some other things. We had good food and that's all we really wanted to experience. Now we're on to a new destination. Yeah, so great impressions from the city. We would definitely recommend it as a pit stop. And yeah, Arica was fun.